people are really getting irate over the Texas border issue that is now spreading to over 10 different states as Texas is clamping down. But now migrants and illegal immigrants are now spreading to multiple different states, especially some states like California, that are actually welcoming them with open arms where millions of illegal immigrants are going and actually being welcomed with open arms and not seeing the resistance. Also, we're seeing a lot of people irate over things like this. This was actually shocking to me. And please let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. New York City. Just one city alone to hand out $53 million in prepaid credit cards to migrant families. Mayor Eric Adams' office said the program will help migrant families buy food and baby supplies. Take a listen to this. Yeah, New York City will soon launch a $53 million pilot program, which means there it's just a test. There could be more to hand out prepaid credit cards to migrant families housed in hotels, which means they're also paying for the cost of their hotels as well. The New York Post, citing city records, reported that 500 migrant families at the Roosevelt Hotel think about the cost of that alone, will receive prepaid cards to help them buy food. The program is intended to replace the current food service provided there. Think about all the costs here. Not only will this provide families with the ability to purchase fresh food for their culturally relevant diets and the baby supplies of their choosing, but the pilot program is expected to save New York City more than $600,000 per month, or more than $7.2 million annually because of the amount they're paying for these illegal migrants, it, which is just mind-blowing to me. Meanwhile, this comes after Mayor Eric Adams from New York City had cut millions from New York City's budget, the city is facing a budget gap of potentially $7 billion, the mayor said, and is largely due to costs associated with providing for the migrants. Dun -dun -dun. He said, quote, previously, we have a $7 billion budget deficit, and he cut $100 million from the school education department. Wow. So we're actually seeing these illegal migrants actually taking money from schools, from taxpayers, from American citizens. And, and this isn't just happening in New York. And this is one of the major problems because we have millions of illegal migrants that have crossed the border. And really, who knows how many of them we don't even know about. And this continues to be a problem. And we also have a new bill here that, quote, may shut down the U.S.-Mexico border at times to curb migration, says U.S. Senator Kirsten Sinema. Remember her? She's actually up for re-election here in the next election. Remember, she's actually gone to an independent instead of a Democrat. We'll see if she gets reelected. She says that she and others at work on the bill that requires temporary closure if over 5,000 undocumented people cross per day, which is amazing to think about that many people crossing per day, but this is actually what happens, people. 5,000 undocumented people crossing per day, and this is just what we know about. This doesn't even account for the people that get through without the border knowing about. 
the question here is, can they actually get anything done in Congress on a border solution? This comes here as Republicans want to impeach Border Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. Here's what House leader of the Democrats has to say here. Take a listen. It's pretty clear that this week there is going to be a vote to impeach Homeland Security Secretary Mayorkas. Do Republicans have the votes to pass it? That remains to be seen, but there is no evidence that House Republicans have produced to show that Secretary Mayorkas has engaged in an impeachable offense, has broken the law, has committed a high crime or misdemeanor, which is the standard for impeachment. What does impeaching Secretary Mayorkas have to do with fixing the challenges at the border? The answer is absolutely nothing. This is a partisan political stunt, and it should be abandoned by my Republican colleagues. And we also, of course, have to work on the challenges related to our broken uh, immigration system. We'll see what emerges from the Senate in that regard. Perhaps, but isn't that dead on arrival in the House? The House Republicans made it very clear they're not going to consider something like that. It should not be dead on arrival. See, you know, we need more common sense in Washington, D.C., less conflict and less chaos. We're in a period of divided government. That means we should be trying to find bipartisan common ground. House Democrats have made that clear. On any issue, we'll work with our Republican counterparts when it makes sense in terms of delivering real results for the American people. How can a bill be dead on arrival and extreme MAGA Republicans in the House haven't even seen the text? They don't even know what solutions are being proposed in terms of addressing the challenges at the border. House Republicans at this point are wholly owned subsidiaries of Donald Trump. They're not working to find real solutions for the American people. They are following orders from the former president. That's the height of irresponsibility. That's what the American people dislike about Washington, D.C. at this moment. And meanwhile, if you've seen my previous video, we have 24,000 Chinese nationals that have snuck through the border. And now we have multiple states that are being infiltrated. And it's just continuing, continuing. And you almost got to wonder if the border is even getting better or worse. And now the other problem is not that this is a new thing, but it's the northern border as well. And the problem with the northern border is it's wide open. The southern border has the wall, it has barbed wire, it has border patrol. The northern border is much more wide open, the Canadian border, than the southern border is. Yeah, that's a significant problem. So anybody that really wants to come in, if they actually can get to the northern border, Canadian border. So think about these Chinese nationals that came from China and actually went to Mexico and then came in. They actually flew over here, right? If they just fly to Canada, they can just walk right through. There's no wall. There's no barbed wire. There's not nearly as much border patrol, right? If they come through Canada, it's literally wide open. If you hear people say, oh, the border's wide open, the border's wide open. Think about the northern, the northern border between the U.S. and Canada. That's really wide open. Talk about a problem. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'll keep you up to date as this situation evolves. Thank you so much for liking. Share this video with anybody that needs to hear this information. Make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on new videos. Click the bell icon after subscribing. New videos come out here every day at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I will see you in the next video.